So we start off just by at least um, setting out our position with respect to the indication that there's a there's a, a desire or an intention to not renew the contract of Ms. Celorio, of Professor Celorio. Um, in that, in that, in that, in that sense, uh, Your Honours, we would be in disagreement with that, and we are disappointed that it's the first time that we're hearing that this is the intention of the respondents, as the appointment of the authority was something that was done with the agreement of both parties. And so mutually, both sides are invested in the appointment of the authority. Um, the reason why we feel very strongly about retaining the, uh, the authority, in addition to the fact that I think that the authority has proved very valuable in guiding us in these hearings, um, especially as it concerns um, clarifying some issues on international standards and indigenous people's rights. Um, right now, what we see in the respondents report, we see that they are reporting that there's an increase in the intended activities in the community. So that there are various projects that they indicated that um, are undergoing FPIC. The function of the authority fundamentally was paragraph, it was fundamentally paragraph four. And paragraph four deals with EPIC, and it's an interim measure pending the finalization of the legislation, of the policy, and of the mechanism to delimit, uh, delimit sorry, the, the boundaries. And so it's, I'm, I'm struggling to understand why at this point when we're seeing an increase in the, in the need for guidance on EPIC because it's being implemented, in a number of communities with respect to a number of projects, why is it that we are at this point contemplating um, the non-renewal of her contract where I think that right now specifically, we would want to retain the avenue that the communities have to raise any concerns with respect to FPA. In fact, one of the, one of the proponents or one of the developers um, that is uh, renewing or re-engaging the communities is US Capital. And the, the authority has provided a report, has looked into, into the activities of US Capital and the communities, understands the context. And so I, I think that it's, it's, it's ill-advised at this point to be speaking about the re non-renewal of the, of the authority 